G'day everyone, my name's Dildemar and this is a quick installation guide for setting up Satisfactory in VR using UEVR and the UEVR Enhancements mod. The first step is to download and install the Satisfactory Mod Manager tool from the fixit.app website. You may already have this if you have installed other Satisfactory mods. Go to the fixit.app website and select Download the Mod Manager. Open the downloaded app and follow the installation steps. The default options should be fine for most users. At the last step, select Run Satisfactory Mod Manager and then Finish. The second step is to install the UEVR Enhancements mod. Select the Search Mods field at the top of the Mod Manager and type in UEVR and you should find the mod. I recommend you favourite it by selecting the star to make it easier to find later on. Click the arrow next to the star to download and install the mod. Next, click on the mod title to show the details of the mod. The mod by itself does not enable VR. It also needs a few other things installed to get everything working. Namely, you need the UEVR injector tool and the custom UEVR profile which works with the mod. You can always find the latest requirements, setup guides and troubleshooting information here, along with information on the VR controls. It is recommended to check this each time you update the mod, as sometimes the version of UEVR or the profile may change on a new mod update. Select the Getting Started link here for detailed step-by-step -step instructions for installing the rest of the mod components. The third step is to install the UEVR Injector tool. This amazing tool can enable VR modes on many Unreal Engine games, including Satisfactory. Check the mod info for the required version of UEVR. Sometimes you will need to get a nightly build in order for new features to work. The mod info page should always tell you which version is needed and will link to where to get it. Select the UEVR download link, which will take you to the GitHub releases page. Scroll down and download the UEVR zip file and select save. After it is downloaded, open the Downloads folder where it was saved. Right-click drag the zip file to the same directory and select Extract. This will prompt for a folder to extract to. You can just leave it as UEVR, but I recommend adding the version to the folder name as a simple reminder as to which version it is. Select Extract. The unzipped UEVR folder can be moved out of the Download folder to another place if you wish, such as to your home directory. Once you have moved the folder where you want, open the folder. Minimize the other windows and right-click drag the UEVR Injector EXE onto your desktop and select Create Shortcut here. This will make it easier to run later on. Press F2 or right-click on the shortcut and select Rename, and rename the shortcut to include the UEVR version. For step 4, we now need to install the UEVR profile that accompanies the Satisfactory mod. Return to the Getting Started web page or the Mod Info page and find the links to the UEVR profile. There will be two links here. If you purchased Satisfactory on Steam, select the UEVR profile for Steam Satisfactory link. And likewise, if you purchased Satisfactory on the Epic Game Store, select the UEVR profile for Epic Store Satisfactory. Save the profile and it should save to your downloads directory. It is very important that the file name remains the same here. If you already have a downloaded profile, Browsers may try and rename the downloaded file appending a number to the end of the name. Make sure you keep the name the same and overwrite any old profile, or rename the file after download to remove any extra stuff the browser adds. If the file name is wrong, it will not import properly. To import the profile, run UEVR by double-clicking the shortcut you made on the desktop. Select the Import Profile button on the left side of the window, Select your downloads directory where the profile was saved and select the profile zip file and then select open. UEVR will then open the folder it imported, showing the files included in the profile. You can now close the folder window. We are now ready to run Satisfactory. Once the main menu is loaded, you should now find a Mods option in the menu. 
Under the mods menu, you will see the satisfactory mod loader, which is automatically installed and required by other mods. You'll also see UEVR enhancements. Select this and you can check the version of the mod you have installed, along with a number of mod configuration options. The default options should be fine for most users, but if you prefer different turn settings or sprint behaviour, you can update these and other preferences here. It is also worth checking your graphics settings. Satisfactory in VR is a lot more demanding than normal flat mode, and you will most likely need to reduce settings to get a decent frame rate. It is recommended if you have an NVIDIA card to use NVIDIA DLSS upscaling in performance mode. Turn off global illumination. It tanks your frame rate in VR. Next, load your save game. It is recommended doing this before switching to VR, as the VR controllers do not work in the main menu. Once the game loads, up the top left of the screen will be the message, ready for UEVR injection. This shows the mod is working and is waiting for UEVR to switch modes to VR. You can play the game in flat mode without any impact, so there is no need to uninstall the mod if you do not want to play in VR. The final step is to inject UEVR to switch to VR mode. Switch back to the UEVR app, and above the inject button is a select box to select what game to inject into. It doesn't detect just Unreal Engine games, so make sure you double check this and change it to the factory game entry for satisfactory. If you inject into the wrong app, you'll most likely have to kill that app before trying again. Also, consider the OpenVR and OpenXR options. Which one works best entirely depends on what headset you are using and how you are connecting. If you're using a Steam VR headset or using Steam Link, then OpenVR will probably work best. For most other setups, including using a Meta Quest using Quest Link or Virtual Desktop, OpenXR is probably the better option. Using the wrong option will give worse performance, or it might straight up be broken. Check the wiki for more information on different setups and what is more likely to work for you. When you are ready, make sure your VR headset is connected and select Inject. Within a few seconds, your headset should switch to VR mode and the mod will activate with VR tracked controllers and a custom user interface, and you'll be in satisfactory in VR. If this is your first time, or if there has been a mod update, then after a few seconds, a window will appear with some brief information about the latest update. This will also run checks against UEVR and the UEVR profile to check you are using the right version to match the mod version. If there are any problems detected with your setup, these will be listed here. You can continue without updating, but some features of the mod may be broken or not work fully until you update to the required UEVR and profile. Great, you're in satisfactory in VR. You can access information and actions by turning either wrist like looking at a watch. For more details, check out the earlier guide video or check the controls page on the wiki. If you're still having troubles getting it working and need some help, check out the troubleshooting page in the wiki. You can also join the flat to vr Discord, find the SF Join channel and select Join, where you'll find myself and other mod users ready to help you out. In addition, I've started streaming Satisfactory in VR on Twitch, so feel free to pop by one of my streams and ask for help, or give me feedback on the mod. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helps you get access to Satisfactory in VR for yourself.